Ray Sensation. I'm your host, Dan. And in this video, we are going to be looking at the latest piece of garbage from that rotten bastard, Johnny Ryan. Yep, it's his new book, Fat Cop. Now, if you're not familiar with Johnny Ryan, you can always go back and watch um, my video talking about Prison Pit. It's my favorite thing he's ever done. Uh, it's a crazy story about monsters uh, fighting and killing each other. Uh, a monster will eat one of them, and uh, the monster he's eaten will um, once will be shit, sh shat out, <laughs> and once that shat will turn back into a monster and fight again. Um, it's a crazy, crazy uh, book, and I, I think it's really funny. But the fact is, most of Johnny Ryan's stuff is just um, comics meant to uh, infuriate, uh, outrage, and offend just about everybody you can think of. Just <laughs> really, really grotesque stuff. Um, this uh, book is... Um, you know, and most of it doesn't really have much of a story. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's just the slightest bit uh, excuse of a story to hang all this stuff on. Um, this one it has a little more story and it feels more like a genre piece. Now, you know, one of my favorite comics of the last decade is uh, Benjamin Mara. Uh, his... Um, book Terror Assaulter, um, One Man War on Terror, which uh, covers a lot of the same grounds. It's it's also <laughs> very offensive, and uh, it is also poking fun at um, various action movie tropes. Um, I like that book a lot. That's a great book. <laughs> this one, I don't believe, is in the same league but uh you know i'm gonna point out some things here believe me if you're easily offended and even if you're not easily offended this book is probably not for you i don't know who the hell this book is for because it's just so grotesque um uh there is um just characters throwing the worst, worst, absolute worst things you can imagine to each other, including our our hero, Fat Cop, uh, pictured here uh, with his um, kid. Um, uh, you know, it starts on the very, uh, the very first scene is a, a kid um, desecrating, a, vandalizing a graveyard, and uh, Fat Cop reaches his, Hand in there, pulls out his intestines. Why are you doing this? Shut up. Hey, Sharon, we got a dead body over here by the cemetery. Uh, I'm not dead. So, uh, <laughs> so of course, uh, fat cop jumps on this kid and uh, kills him. Then um, he comes across uh, a, a mugger slashing a woman's face. And uh, he goes, you okay, ma'am? I think he cut me. Hmm, let me take a look. And he sees this cut, and he starts licking it. Uh, here's, uh, here's one where a, a kid is a witness to a crime because fat cop is as corrupt and horrible as you can imagine. And so he kills the kid because he witnessed him doing something. Um, then of course he gets, uh, this, this, uh, lone wolf cop, this out of control cop gets paired up with, uh, uh, this is the chief of police. She has, she teams him up with this by the book guy. And, uh, because he knows he's not going to be able to get away with all the stuff he's been doing, he gets angry and goes into a huge rage smashing everything and then um 
They get called to the scene of a murder. There's the, the murder victim. And uh, <laughs> um, that cop is going through the murder victim's purse. He steals her phone. And many times in this comic, he will have the, um, you know, like, slip. <laughs> you know, you, the, the sound effect is actually just what's happening. Slide. <laughs> it's, uh, he steals a, a, a gift card for the Cheesecake Factory. So, um... And so they do find the first clue to the greater all mystery that's going on here. And that's this, uh, the thing that's been used to kill this one, to kill them, although I don't think they used it to dismember them, is a uh, some kind of metal statue of a claw. And there's an inscription on the bottom, Benedict Sewers. <laughs> so... Uh, the plot sickens. And now here's um, part of the by the book guy is he's trying to force um, Fat Cop to leave. And so he does his best to humiliate him by tormenting him in the shower as though they're, he's a bully in school. And then, um, <laughs> man, I this is going to be a tough one to get away with. Um, because it's so grotesque. <laughs> so, <laughs> Fat Cop is, uh, he spies on his by-the-book partner having sex with the, uh, their chief of police. And, um, then as he's walking away, he sees chained up this horrible little monster thing. And, uh, he follows it back to a tree shaped like that claw that was used for the murder weapon. And this is where we, uh, uh, his by the book partner once again beats him up and humiliates him. And we, uh, this is where we meet Fat Cop's kid. Phoenix Marie is her name. And uh, anyway, here, here's a scene where they, the, the by the book cop has discovered the secret hideout of these uh, Satan worshiping child molesters. Or I don't even know if they're, you know, molesting them. We don't know what they're doing with them. But there's. This he's, uh, he finds this girl in this box and these little worms with a death face are having sex with little wounds on her body. And, it, and here's the here's the muscle that's guarding the uh, Satanist headquarters. He's a giant albino. And uh, this this police raid on this headquarters. I'm just I'm just showing off a couple really weird parts that I I know I can get away with. There is so much of this book that is just so out of control, and I mean it is disturbing. Um, there's a lot of sex in it, very little of it consensual. Um, here they find a severed baby penis on the ground. Um, they find an operating room where somebody is taking these monsters and they're they're sewing the monsters together with these children. And then uh, where's <laughs> there's there's the there's the payoff with the uh, Finding the underground lair. Now, we've still got a bunch of pages here, but I'm not going to give it away. Um, suffice to say, there are no heroes in this book. This is just grotesque stuff happening, then more grotesque stuff happening, 
then even worse stuff happening. Um, just such a miserable comic. <laughs> so there you go. So now, I hope I've shown you enough so you can tell whether or not this book is for you.